Happy Sunday, my lovely butterflies. This is The Awakened Butterfly, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please stay for the entire video or check out some of my existing content. If you enjoy this type of content, please don't hesitate to subscribe. Welcome and welcome back, guys. I pray that everyone is having a blessed and amazing day. I pray that you all are continuing to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. I love you guys so much. I send nothing but positive energy and love you guys' way. And as always, the love and support that you guys show me on this channel is always greatly appreciated. Guys, I haven't been feeling well, and that's why I haven't been on camera today. But I will be back on my normal schedule tomorrow. I'm just in my recuperation stage. I have been feeling really tired and I just had to get me some rest over the weekend. But the Most High gave me enough strength to deliver this message to you guys. So here I am. If you feel that this message is for you, please go back and pray to the Most High for further confirmation. The Most High says that he saw everything. Yes, he saw everything. Not only did he see everything, he heard everything. He saw all of the deceitful things that were taking place behind your back that you didn't see. He heard all of the wicked plots and plans that were being orchestrated against you behind your back that you did not hear. He saw how these people did wicked things and said wicked things behind your back and came back around as if nothing ever happened. He saw how these people orchestrated things, plotting and planning on your demise and came back around just to see if their plans were working. The Most High is not pleased. He is not pleased. And I know, guys, that I'm always making videos like this. And reason being is because in the times that we are living in as such, there is so much evil and deception going on. And reason being is because the Most High is revealing evil on earth because he's separating a lot of people. His chosen ones, the ones that he has called, He's separating them from deception, from deceitful and evil and wickedness because he has a purpose for you. And there's a lot of people that are operating in dark spirits that are out to stop you in any way possible because they're being influenced by the enemy. There's a lot of people operating through the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of envy, And they are preying upon the righteous ones. If you are an upright person at this time and you have a good heart and you're not spending your time trying to plot and plan and scheme against another person, you are a threat to the enemy. If the enemy cannot use you at this time, you are a huge threat. We all go through our trials and tribulations. And it's one thing to go through your regular trials and tribulations as a human being. But to let the enemy use you is a whole nother situation. And we're seeing it a lot these days. We're seeing a lot of people being hurt. A lot of people being abused. A lot of people being stolen from, manipulated, controlled, deceived, cheated on. In any way that he can come in and destroy something, he's going to take that opportunity. And a lot of you out there who are really just aiming to be genuine people trying to spread your love and light has suffered by the hand of the enemy. 
because he has used the people that you care about the most to place harm in your life. You know, it's hard to believe that a person so close to you could do deceitful things to you. It's hard to believe that a co-worker would go behind your back and try to sabotage your work in order to get you fired. It's hard to believe that a family member that's in a secret occult would aim to inflict witchcraft upon your life. But then when you think about it in the world that we're living in now, is it hard to believe or is it something that you don't want to believe? And I'm going to be honest, guys, I'm stuck in between. I know the truth, but about a lot of things that the Most High has revealed to me about a lot of the people that I had in my life that I really cared about, but I didn't really want to see it. I didn't want to know it. It was hard to bear, but for my protection, for my mental, physical, and spiritual elevation, when I reached out to the most high, he felt that it was vital for me to know these things. And he feels that it is vital for you guys to know these things as well. That's why discernment is very essential during these times. It lets you know when the people that are coming at you, if they're in the right spirit, are they operating through the Holy Spirit or are they operating through a demonic spirit, through a monitoring spirit? And a lot of the times it's hard to tell without discernment. You, To be honest with you guys, you cannot tell without discernment these days. The enemy is very tricky. He's very deceitful in his ways. So if you don't have a relationship with God, you will not know the intentions of the people around you until it's too late. But at this time, many of you who are watching this video, you have prayed about some things and the Most High has revealed some things to you through some people that it has been hard for you to accept. Because although you are acknowledged of what they're doing and why they're doing it, you know it's spiritual warfare. You know that the spirit inside of this person is irritated with your spirit. But that does not take away the fact that this person is mistreating you, that this person is hurting you. And this most certainly does not serve as an excuse for this person as to why they're doing what they're doing. Because although a person is mistreating you, due to the spirit that is operating within them, they have to be willing to let this spirit use them. And if a person lacks self-control, it's because they don't want to have control. It's because they actually want to do what they're doing. And when you're dealing with narcissistic people who hurt you, they come up with all the excuses in the world as to why they're doing what they're doing. But it still, at the end of the day, does not justify why they're mistreating you. It never adds up. And in the beginning, if you're not aware of these things, you won't see it as gaslighting. You will see it as your fault. It brings confusion. The most high is not the art of confusion, but the enemy is. He will bring people into your life and he will have them to say certain things that relates to maybe something that you've prayed to the most high about, or maybe something you've talked to God about to try and throw you off. But you have to look at the fruits of that person. You have to look at the spirit of that person, how they're operating in their regular life. Are they doing things that if you connected with them, it will pull you further away from God. Are they saying things that, can confuse you as to where you don't know if they were sent by the enemy or by the most high. If you have to question a person's motives, it's, you know, nine times out of 10, it's probably something going on that you may need to pray about for the most high to reveal to you. But I just want to let you guys know that if you're dealing with someone and they're mistreating you, 
in any form or fashion. Like I said, it can be workplace harassment from a co-worker, from a supervisor. It could be gang stalking harassment from friends, family members, whatever the case may be. It can be, you know, being mistreated by a partner, you know, someone in your relationship. Just know that the Most High has saw everything that these people have done. He's heard everything that they've said. And these people will be handled in accordingly to God's will. They will be placed under his wrath and judgment. Because he has sent them sign after sign and warned them about the way they've been treating you. He's even sent other people to send signs to them. He's literally sent his angels to literally talk to this person through other people, but they're so wrapped up in their own ways, in their own world, in their own ego, and they lack spiritual wisdom and discernment that they, they, they haven't even taken the time to realize who it is that's actually talking to them. They've attacked you several times for trying to talk to them and deliver messages to them from the Most High concerning their behavior. And they failed to listen. They've felt several tests concerning you. The Most High sent you in as a test for these people. And not only as a test, he's actually sent you in to help these people as well. But they didn't appreciate you. They took your kindness for weakness. They ran over you. The Most High tested them concerning you by placing them in a position of authority just to see how they would treat you. And as I said in one of my previous videos, they failed. They held no remorse. They even brought others in on the attacks, the enablers. The Most High saw all of this. And the reason why he wants you to know that he saw everything because he's hearing your prayers at this time. You're crying out to him. You're praying to him about your situation. And he's about to step in because for many of you who are watching this video, if not all of you, this is about to be your season of elevation. So while these people think that they are getting away with what they're doing to you and thinking that, that you will be a consistent doormat for them, the Most High is not only about to elevate you, but he is also about to separate you from these people as a part of the elevation. And these people will be placed under his heavy wrath and judgment. And this is not about a person being perfect or anything like that. But, you know, there are a such thing as a person not doing anything wrong to deserve what's happening to them. You know, it's really concerning when you see people make excuses for another person's actions and they want to make you feel like you had to do something wrong in order to deserve what you got. And I'm pretty sure that there's many of you out there who has been in these relationships, no matter what kind of relationship they've been, where someone has treated you wrong and you wanted to reach out to someone and you wanted to talk to them about it, all for this person to gaslight you and to try and flip everything to make it seem like it's your fault and you deserve what was happening to you. See, this is all a part of the enemy's plan. He uses these type of people to make you feel that everything is your fault, trying to make you change your walk with the most high, trying to make you ashamed of your purpose, trying to make you ashamed of who you are. 
And this is what the enemy sends people in to further doing your life, to try and knock you down, especially when he knows that a breakthrough is right around the corner for you. The enemy knows when God is about to bless you. And he also gets very afraid of your prayer life. The enemy is shooken when he hears you praying. And I'm pretty sure at this time, if a lot of you have been praying to the Most High strongly, you may feel that the attacks are getting worse. And this is because the enemy is afraid. Because when you pray in the spiritual realm, you are blocking all of his attempts to try and destroy you in the spiritual realm as well as the physical realm. Because you are now calling out to the Most High God and his angels for protection. But the reason why the attacks get worse because now you're sensitive in the spirit. So now your light is shining even brighter, but now you're more attached to the spiritual realm. So now you're going to be attacked by monitoring spirits, gang stalking spirits, witches, warlocks, and they can come in the form of anyone that the enemy feels that is a weak enough vessel for him to use. People that are already envious of you, people that are already jealous of you. You may have not known this, but you prayed about it and the most high is revealing the true spirit of that person within at this time, you may have people saying things to you that you can't even believe that they said it. You may have to question yourself. Did you really even hear them saying what you thought you heard them say? Or people may do deceitful things to you behind your back that, and you, you know, the most high reveals it to you that you can't really believe that it was this person that did it because you're so close to them. These are the end times that we are living in and God is revealing a lot of things. And the reason why a lot of you guys have went through so much is because God was preparing you for a time as such. When you're in spiritual warfare, you have to have thick skin because it takes spiritual work to fight against demonic forces that attack you. And the spiritual work is prayer, fasting, also using your spiritual wisdom and discernment, getting into God's word so you will know how to live in these times, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And to also be able to recognize the enemy when he tries to creep in. So I know that it seems like I'm kind of talking about two different subjects at this time, but... I had to go through all of that, guys, because the attacks that you guys are going through are all a part of spiritual warfare. And I know some of the things you may, you guys may even be noticing some supernatural things like people's eyes turning jet black, or you may even be able to see certain spirits attached to people. And then that's when you have to, you know, pray to the most high and ask him to reveal to you what part you play in the spiritual realm because it will let you know why these people are attacking you and what you have to do in order to eliminate the attacks. Although we will always be attacked by the enemy, the most high will vindicate us from letting the enemy further hinder us from what he has called or chosen us to do. And that's why you guys are enduring so many attacks at this time. You may have people talking down, um, talking down on you. You may have people trying to physically attack you, people trying to steal from you, you know, steal your ideas. Uh, they may try to do destiny swapping. They may even try to steal, you know, your material things, you know, from you. Just, just deceitfulness. Children of God are experiencing deceitfulness. And although we are all children of God, everyone is not serving the Most High Yah at this time. There are a lot of people who are serving Baal. 
And I will be doing a video about that as well. Because there's a lot of witchcraft that is taking place behind the scenes that many people are not aware of. And they are attacking us with witchcraft through a lot of the foods that we eat, through a lot of the songs that we listen to, through a lot of TV shows and commercials, through a lot of friends and family members and partners who are secretly involved in demonic occults. And they do rituals and they cast spells and they place these things on our lives. And a lot of the times we look at the physical trying to figure out where the problem is coming from, but it starts in the spiritual first. So that's why we have to always keep a close connection with the most high and always know that when he shows you something, that's what it is. When these people are attacking you, and the Most High showing you what they're doing, that means that he's about to do something about it. And he wants you to pray hard so you can stay mentally, physically, and spiritually equipped for the spiritual warfare that's taking place. God and the angels are fighting for you. And he wants you to fight for yourself as well. So if you're being awakened in the middle of the night, and you feel, you know, you have no idea why it's time to pray. Go to your prayer closet, go to your bathroom, go to your secret place and pray to the most high. Ask him to reveal to you what he wants to reveal to you at this time. And pray to him for clarity, protection, wisdom, discernment. Ask him to shield you from your enemies. Ask him to give your enemies a blind eye to your life because they try to come in as friends and as family, you know, people that you trust, but it's, you know, it's wolves in sheep's clothing. And a lot of these people that are mistreating you, they feel that they have the upper hand and that they feel that they're going to continue to mistreat you, but the most high is not going to let that happen. He's going to remove you and he's going to deal with them. And if you've, you know, prayed about this, just see this video as confirmation. And even if you do see this video as confirmation, please pray to the most high for further confirmation. I just wanted to come through and drop this message off to you guys. I hope I wasn't all over the place and it made sense where you guys could understand if it resonates with you or not. Um, I pray that you guys continue to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I love you guys so much. And until the next video, peace and blessings. Mwah.